Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Liu here. Today, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. But today, it's not an endless layer anymore, it's about Drive Mines V2. So, in this new update, there's a thing called Crystal Nucleus. And if you collect all the crystals in the Drive Mines V2, or aka Crystal Hollows, you unlock very cool rewards. And the rewards gives you a lot of gemstones and other stuff, some RNG stuff, which could potentially make you a lot of money during the update. And you can also try this in Alpha Network right now. So without further ado, let me teach you guys how to get all the crystals. So first of all, before getting every crystals, you need to go to Discord X500 and Z500. This is this place called the Crystal Nucleus. So this place is like a hub to all the crystals. It points you the directions of all the crystals. And if, if you follow the path, you find the crystals eventually. First of all, we got a green crystal, the Jade Crystal. The coordinates for the crystals aren't the same every time, but it's most likely at the same spot or somewhere near. So, if you follow the path, you'll find it eventually. And here we are at the Jade Crystal area. And here there's four NPCs and in the middle there will be the crystal. So first of all you need to click an NPC and it will give you a metal detector, which I already got it on my hands right now. And you can see this is the metal detector. And then what you're gonna do is you, that you're gonna jump down and start doing the scavenger hunt. So you can see above my mana bar there's a thing saying treasure and there's like a distance between the treasure. So basically, you need to try to go upwards, downwards, left and right to find where the chest is. And then, you need to open the chest and there's a chance to drop a hammer. Um, so there's an emerald hammer, diamond hammer, gold hammer and also a lapis sword. You need to get all the items, then you will unlock the jade crystal. When you are holding the metal detector, you can hear a sound and when you get closer to the treasure chest, it will beat more rapidly and then you'll know where it is. It is very easy to find all the hammers and sword. It took me around like 5 minutes to find all 4 of them. And then after getting it, just give it to the NPC. And there you go. You see there's a beacon, uh, there's a laser shooting to the middle. And then you get all the 4 lasers, then you win this thing. After giving the lapis sword to the NPC, you see the jade crystal spawn in the middle. You just need to left click or right click it, and then you get the crystal. It's not an item, you can check it in your actual DM menu, which I will show you right now. You can see that it says the jade crystal is not placed, that means you already got it. Next, we're gonna find the sapphire crystal. This one is quite difficult because you need to find the precursor city first, and that city if you want to find it, it's such a maze. It took me around like 10 minutes to find the city. So I'm going to skip it to there and show you guys how to get a sapphire crystal. When you reach the precursor city, you see this giant robot thing and an NPC. You just click the NPC, he will talk something to you. And then he asks you to take him um, to get him 6 body parts, which are the rare drops from the iron golden mobs. And those items should be quite cheap if you buy from auction house for like 5 mil per or if you want you can also grind it. It took me like half an hour to grind all of them and the next time I tried it I just bought it from the auction house so if you actually want to do this quest and get a crystal I recommend just getting um, the body parts from the auction house. After finally getting all the 6 body parts you just need to hold it on your hand right click on the NPC and then the door will open for you and there's the sapphire crystal inside of it there you go sapphire crystal found next up we'll be getting the amber crystal from the goblin city and somehow you can drink a god potion to get the effect and go past the guards 
by if but if you need to do it legitly you need to find the goblin king give him free goblin eggs and he will give you a potion effect which allows you to join here and so i kind of just glitch in right now and i'll show you why it is because that when you drink the god potion somehow you get the new potion effect called a full trench or something which is right here and it is quite weird i don't know why but i think this should be fixed already when this video is out so next crystal we go to get the next crystal which is the purple crystal or like the amethyst crystal i don't know how to read it you can get it from the jungle temple but if, if you want to enter the jungle temple you first need to get a key from a key guardian which spawns randomly generated on the map in the jungle area it's like a temple thingy and then there's a zombie like a crypt lurker you just kill it and then you get a key and after that you can enter the temple to do a parkour and then get a crystal they disabled the ability of aote but somehow i can still use hyperion so i just cheesed the puzzle and then i went to the temple got two treasure chests and most importantly the purple crystal and finally we need to get the final crystal the yellow crystal which is also called the topaz crystal so to get the topaz crystal you just need to kill this magma boss thingy the bell uh the magma boss the ball boss bell boss i don't know what this name but you just need to bow spam it yes bow spam because this boss doesn't count any damage um for like actual crit damage it just counts your hits and then at a certain amount of hits it just turn into a small cube and disappear vanish from the lava and then you can get a crystal from top but i think it's now spawns on the bottom now they change it and this magma boss also drops the ball pad or the bell pad which gives you immunity to heat in the magma fields to find this boss it's not pointed in the crystal node because uh, you need to find it randomly in the magma fields level there isn't a certain path pointing to it so good luck with that and we did it <laughs>